Good morning, Hellions. I am headed down to the shop right now to get all this stuff over here welded and cut and drilled. Uh, one thing, I spent some time uh, updating the website, HalloweenHellmouth.com. If you haven't seen it, you can go and take a look at it real quick. Um, there's still some things that I need to do, but the most pertinent information is there. Um, I just had to get that updated. I do have somebody working on that website. Um, so there should be a whole new design and everything that I'm really excited about. Don't know exactly when it's going to happen, so I needed to go and at least update it for the season. Still need to do like uh, the 2011 uh, page on there for the scare videos and stuff. I want to put a uh, live kind of uh, status update Facebook widget on there. That's just a weird word. Widget. Say that five times fast. Weird word widget. Weird. Okay, I digress. The other thing is uh, merchandise, which you can get down in the sub bar. All the links are down there, but I also want to add that to the website. There is a link on the website that's active for Spreadshirt. Just some small update stuff that I want to do. Anyway, I'm going to concentrate on driving because I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, you guys vlog while you're driving. And it's like, well, it's not a cell phone. It's now time for the scary car of the day. Certainly the scary car of the day. <laughs> but, you know, I guess you have to do what you got to do, right? Yay! So stage one is done. Stage one was attaching the bolt and the washer to the long rod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going there. This stage is done. I just got to go and cut the brackets and drill the brackets. And it's going to take a while. Three quarter inch hole this big it takes a long time to freaking drill. And I'm saying freaking a lot, so freaking I'm going to like shut this off and get back to freaking work. I'm working on getting the word out because we need actors, we'll be bad, so if anybody's watching this, in Washington, Lakewood, Pierce County area, please contact us. Yes. Um, we're getting ready to do some more things out there. Um, word's just not getting around quick enough, so um, digging into ways to get it out there more. I don't want to just take flyers and go to a parking lot. I want to know that I'm recruiting people I can count on and people that are doing it for something yeah that's that's why I went to high school students and that's why you know they're gonna earn credit they're gonna earn community service hours but there's not enough of them interested <laughs> you know so. uh, they probably want to go to the haunted house they don't want to work in a haunted house they just don't know how fun it is um, yeah, exactly. So anyway, and, and I know guys were getting a late start on recruiting and everything, but it's really, uh, first of all, school wasn't in session, it just got back in. I asked if me and you mm -hmm. could go to the classroom and during the couple of different class times, especially with the older students, you know, um, and explain and show them what we do and get them interested that way. Cause they see us and they can see the pictures, you know, put it up on the screen and the Facebook or whatever, then they'll be a little bit more interested. That and then if, awesome. I, if I can get an advisor there, you know, it says that they can earn their community service hours, the teacher's right here saying they can earn their extra credit, and then we're there explaining the actual thing, then we'll get it. Yeah. Well, it's, that sounds like a plan and answer right there. I didn't know that she had done that yet, so. Yeah. Anyway, I, I was trying to get that to that, but you talked too much. <laughs> wow. That took a lot freaking longer. And there I go with the freaking stuff again. Anyway, that took a lot longer at the shop than I had really anticipated or wanted to be down there. Drilling three quarter inch holes in the steel plate was like a pain in my butt. But essentially, I'm going to wire this uh, piece of rebar to this uh, bolt right here so it's not going to fall off when the concrete starts going down. So hopefully, and I might actually put it on the back side of that because that's where the torque is going to be getting pulled from. I just don't want these to break out the concrete. Um, so anyway, that's the general idea of it. But look at this. Heavy hardware. Oh yeah, big boy toys. Or big girl toys. We're all set up. I got the rebar in there. And now it is time to start pouring the creek. This is going to be a very long process. What do you have to put in there? I have to fill it all the way up. Phew! It stinks. Yes. 
Why is this pink? Because it's Portland cement. Which, this is another product that also causes cancer in the state of California. <laughs> so if you guys remember me saying last summer, <laughs> okay, so I'm accentuating it a little bit, trying to be like, what's that kid off, what's that show, and the guy in the wheelchair. Um, I want to say Doogie Hauser. Anyway, I'm getting off the topic. Uh, yeah, so last summer. I like vlogged without my shirt on. I'm like, okay, that was the last time you guys are ever going to see that. And believe me, you don't want to see what's down below here. But anyway, um, a case in point, first one is done. So the next thing I have to do is physically move the prop car down to here to put the weight across here. And so once this cures in the next uh, like four days, hopefully it won't rain, then I'll go and I'll tighten these bolts down. And I realize that these plates right here, this whole piece is going to bend but it shouldn't go too far. So anyway, that part of it's done. As far as blending that in, along with uh, the nice shiny bolts right there, if they're able to be seen, a little bit of spray paint, dirt, and it'll just blend in with the rest of the grass. Aha! The show was Malcolm in the middle. Haha, -ha, see? So how many of you guys right now are going back and deleting your comments? <laughs> now, while, while, while you're deleting your comments about like what show it was, click the like. It's like right down there, I think. Okay, you talk. I'm tired. I finished the solarium. I made up these pots here with the ABC Noise flowers that she gave me. Awesome. Into the vases I found at the thrift store. See down here? It is feeling completely claustrophobic in here. This is great. Ooh, tickle plant. Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like up. tickle me almost. Back up, oh. see? Back up. Biatch. I got those filled in. Okay, don't move so fast. Okay. These are filled in. Down here, filled in. Snake. Ooh, goody so goody. Everything is lined up on both flower pots and stands. So this room is finished. Yes. I mean, except for cobwebbing, but we're not doing that till a couple of days before we open because. Right. Um. Oh, well, except for the light. I got to get the lighting done. Yeah. But decorating, Lori Lee's part, beautiful, freaking awesome, epic. Outstanding, top notch, okay, top let's flight. Not go crazy. I ain't that good. <laughs> Whatever. We still have to change the stuff in, and I call it the shadow box or the window, and I still have to fix this little piece that came off across it. That's how it looks at night with the vines, guys. That's awesome. Do my vines come out good? See, they go all the way around me. That is really cool. And then she got some jackets in here. Maybe you want to explain more about what you've done, dear. Well, I put this creepy one right here, just kind of smooshed it underneath here, because it looks like it's dead and everything. And then kind of put it over there and the covered cords there. And then come around the corner. And then I have some here along the wall, all the way to here. And then I took this one, stapled it and smooshed it onto the wall. You smushed it. Like that. <laughs> I like it because it makes it look like crap's growing out of the walls. Yeah. I don't know what kind of light I'm going to be in right now because if I remember correctly, cameras don't catch strobe lights all that well. But the strobe lights are hung in the bathroom. I've got one pointed down right now at the bathtub, which we're still, we still have to put the surround around, like the, the sheet that goes around it. The curtain, the shower curtain, there you go. And then I think that's just about it for the bathroom. Oh, Lori Lee has to do some stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, she has to do some stuff to the toilet. And then I'm hopefully going to get to the sink as far as putting, like, blood and blah, 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 coming out of it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, strobe lights are hung from the rafters with care. And I hope the little children soon will be scared. <laughs> Sorry, that was like a terror clowns thing. And one of the last things tonight, uh, Lori Lee and I painted the scrim right here. Finally, I've been holding on to this can of paint in here for like forever and just so that we could do the scrim and finally got that done. So that's done. Um, calling it a wrap, calling it a night. I got to go and work on the website. I'm really a poet and didn't know it. I really seriously did not mean that to happen. Lights out. What time is it, baby? Oh, time for some COC.
Yes. Oh, time for some CLC. Yeah. And real gypsy heart. First. Well, first is a good place to be. Ramathetal. Okay, I totally... Okay, sorry guys, I can't. Okay, I totally <laughs> misread your Facebook post. I thought that you wanted to see pics of our layout. LOL, okay, no more Facebook when I have to sleep. LOL, heck, make that one totally wore out. After three days on the road, just over a thousand miles traveled. Damn. He had to make several trips back and forth to get trailers and stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's us. Six days on the road. You're going to make it home tonight? You're already home. Chris25 to fur. For the drawing, do you want an aerial view? Um, that would probably be best. Yeah. How should this be drawn, or does it not matter? That is a back-breaking amount of concrete. Yeah, and I totally miss, like, I don't know how I did it, but 300 pounds in that one hole. I used five bags. Eek. Um, oh, but Facebook contest. Um, take a picture of it and upload it to your profile on Facebook, or... A lot of people have been doing it on the computer. You can do it anyway. I don't care, but just make it as accurate and detailed as you can. I don't know. The contest is your thing. You never even told me about it. No. Oh, she fell out of the loop, guys. Sorry. Stephanie Allen. If you have the stove prop from last year, you could use cardboard to make heat ducts coming out of it in several spots at different locations. It would give it that weird octopus-like furnace look. Just have them going up into where the wall meets the ceiling. Maybe some boxes with wadded up newspapers to look like random boxes of old stuff. Everyone always has random boxes and piled up old furniture in their basement. Maybe make a fuse box on the wall. Um, yeah, the, the stove already has like a little uh, 45 pipe coming out of it. So yeah, we could totally do something. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, hi. How you doing? Gothic Dorothy. You need to get some meowing cat sounds for the haunt, kind of like the bees. It makes it look like there's something that isn't there. People might actually look around for meowing kitty. Not a bad idea. Did you guys see anything or did I have it blocked right then? Sorry, Lori Lee is playing with the hand. I know. I feel violated. <laughs> Pull yourself together! <laughs> No, um, that would be really good. Uh, cat sound, maybe, maybe doable. ABC Noise 2, keep it up, guys. Lori Lee, you need to take it easy. Phoenix does not need to make an early appearance. You know, I've just been having these weird dreams that he's going to. The funny thing is, why do I always start everything off with the funny thing is? It's not really that funny. Hmm. Something happened cool. last night that was very, very freaking cool. I had my hand on Lori Lee's belly, and Phoenix and I were, like, either playing foot tag or hand tag or high five or something. It was so cool. You were like pressing and you were like, hey. And then he was like, bloop, and he hit you back. And, then, bloop, bloop, and they were like, sitting there having like a little boxing match going back and forth for like five minutes or so. It was like, it was really funny. It was, it was so cool. Chris House of Horrors. I knew I'd been paying close attention to the haunt layout for some reason. I think I'm going to win this one. Troy, I drew it up, but I don't know how to post it. Oh, okay. Um, well, like I just said, upload it to your Facebook profile as just a picture, and then... Share it onto your wall. Yeah, share it with Hellmouth. Tag Hellmouth in it. When I see them, guys, um, the confirmation that I've seen them is I'll make like a little comment, and then I'll say, like, entry number blah blah blah, and I think we're up to like five now. A Woken Nightmare. Everything seems like it's pretty far along. Do you have any other major projects to get done, or is it mostly odds and ends type stuff? <laughs> okay, well, when the first gets here, everything in the front yard starts getting done. That's the graveyard scene, that's building the surround for the carport that we've never done before, out of panels, for the front maze, which I don't think will take that long. Famous last words. But as far as the backyard still goes, I still have lighting, sound, air, uh, pneumatics I have to put in the hallway, pneumatics to the prop car, the prop car cylinder, um, the monster in the box, the piano, two stereos, moving more stuff around, putting plastic up at the top of the roof for the transition so light doesn't bleed over, um, painting egress, still have to um, do more to the prop car as far as uh, anchoring it down. I'll probably do another one tomorrow. Um, there's more. <laughs> I just don't know what. 
I just wish we had more help. Yeah. I wish that Keith would make an appearance. I should give all of you guys this email so that you could email him and say, Dude, where the heck you been? 303430. They're called Lag Bolts, Troy. I believe what he says is they're called Lag Bolts. Troy! You know, kind of like, Bye! He's going, Troy! Why? I think that's what he was referring to. Is that what you did or something? Yeah, last night. That's how I said it. I said, Bye! Like the retarded policeman. Uh, YouTube video. Anyway, um, nobody got that, or they didn't say anything. I don't watch YouTube videos. YouTube videos are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? You just offended every all the interwebbers. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, what was the question? <laughs> lag oh, lag bolts. Um, well, yeah, if we were in a professional setting and it was a smooth concrete floor, then yes, we'd be using lag bolts to achieve what I'm doing to the prop car right now, but the other thing I've taken into consideration is the ground might be wet once all this happens. So there is going to be a little bit of give even with all the concrete, just because everything's dry and loose right now. Flyers fam 1231. I meant to tell you that I knew you would be super duper busy, but if you don't have time, don't worry about it because I totally understand. Um, I'm going to try and make time. There's two tutorials that I've been trying to do. And one of them is, again, with the motion sensor hooking it to a prop. Um, and I'm sure somebody else has done it, but you guys said that you wanted it. And then also, um, how to make plastic walls and whatever. So, And I, I can't remember who it was, but they said that they used my method and it sustained a 30 mile an hour wind. So I was like, really cool, awesome. TMLA, that's one of my favorite outros. Hmm. <laughs> arg. Not me. I think my favorite one is when the gravestone fell on your head. <laughs> you to throw the cock. Symbolize that the night is over. Ooh, nice shot. Say happy haunting. Say happy haunting. Happy haunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Um, but while you're awake, you know, were y'all we well? Nah. Um, but while you're awake. <laughs>